What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K. Hey, look, um, we got this thing where a lot of information likes to get spread across the internet. And I get it. We live busy lives, right? So we sometimes do the unwise thing of seeing someone do this fancy presentation with the pyronamics or whatever you call it, and the lights and the sprites and stuff shooting all across the screen. And we say, okay, that person put a lot of production value into it. I'm going to equate that production value into honesty. And that's like the most horrible thing that we could do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially if we want to be stewards of facts. The fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of misinformation being put out, out here. And it's being uh, overlooked. People aren't kicking the tires, doing the research on it simply because of that, because of aesthetics, okay? And I get video game, a large part of video game is aesthetics, but we can't apply that to everything in our day-to-day -day lives, right? We, we gotta be smarter than that, okay? Um, one of the things that's being peddled and pushed around and it's never been fully vetted is this notion that Stadia is in trouble because Google sends everything to the graveyard. And that notion has been come to because of sites like Google Graveyard, right? Nobody double checked to see if they have an agenda. Nobody double checked to look and see what was actually on the website and do some due diligence to see that to springboard into something else. Was this something, Was were, are these small applications? You know what I'm saying? How much of this stuff that people really care about and Google just yanked it from us? You know what I'm saying? Nobody's done that except for some good friends of mine in the Google Stadia community. They've done it. They've done a thorough job explaining it. They've done a thorough job of um, shining light on the truth. And we're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about it over on the Stadia Doses channel. So join me there because this is something that you definitely don't want to miss. Again, people are peddling this notion that Stadia is in trouble because Google likes to just send stuff to the graveyard. And what people have not double checked or verified is if they're making a false equivalency here because there's been a lot of money invested in the Google Stadia. Um, there's been a lot of years invested in Google Stadia and there's not much on sites like uh, Google Graveyard that kind of equate to the investment and the time spent in, in the, in the long-term uh, footprint that seems to be here with Google Stadia. Does the sites, does the stuff on Google Graveyard match Google Stadia? Is that a one for one comparison? Is that a fair analysis? Again, good friends of mine, good stewards within the Stadia community, vet that out, shake that out. So again, come on over. Even if you don't like the platform, even if you don't like cloud gaming, you know what I'm saying? I get it. I get the apprehensions. I can, hey, I can dig it. I can dig it, right? But at least, like I always say, at least argue from a place of what? Knowledge. You want that knowledge? Come on over. Come over to the Stadia Dosage platform. The link is below. We'll be waiting, all right? And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.